So, hello and welcome back to another episode of Euro Stars 4. We of course playing with the Armin of Fantasy Mods. As the Chancellor Empire and we have decided the forest had it good for long enough now. They were just chilling there and that I could not agree with at all. Just mentally. That I, that I had a disagreement with that. Elves that do not follow the right stuff. That is just uh... That is just ridiculous. There we go. We are there. We're, we're killing stuff here and there and everywhere. I could bring more people in technically. Like I do have all of these armies standing around or doing jack shit. I, I, I guess I could do that. Alright, into the forest you guys go. Still waiting for this siege to break. Wait. Someone's attacking you actually. Well that's that's not nice. Not sure how many you have, but I'm not having that. I'm not having that. These guys are sieging their heart out here. Oh, there we go. Got their flagship. Oh, this one is also down. Yeah, cool. You guys just continue on. Go, go for the next siege. <laughs> just kill random guys on the way. Well, these guys, I guess, are locked in now. And they're gonna have their fun, no matter what. Ibovar's down, lovely. I'm gonna give these guys a leader, because I don't like you not having a leader. Because you're in, in the middle of this territory. So if I kind of need you to have a leader, it's not gonna show up that quickly. So, yeah, these guys are gonna get it getting sent home. Let the Faithless burn. I mean, it's a very simple structure, isn't it? <laughs> these guys are making babies, good for you. There we go, took you long enough. Not sure how many people are currently on the way towards you, but... It should be alright. Like we also have all of these vessels sieging more stuff. Wouldn't know what I would do without them. But that's what you guys get for not doing being in United Deepwoods. It's all your own fault. You of course did not want to be united in any way or shape. And that will be your fucking end. We of course can completely gobble them up. We could just gobble up as much as we wanted at the moment. Do we want to do that? I did say I want to separate piece these guys. Because we are not... We do not care about... It. I mean, technically speaking, we do care a little bit now. Because these guys are in a coalition against me. But these guys do not even have anything. Ibova. There we go. That's a lot. Gibbard we're gonna take. Gibbard is uh, within the areas that I want. Obviously. Okay, I should have spent more points here. My max development will always be a mystery. I'm just waiting for someone to tell me in the comments when I at some point clicked on my money. Even though this is doesn't make any sense because this is a week in advance like I mentioned before. But I appreciate the gesture if you have thought about that telling me. So. Uh, okay, there's plenty of enough, enough stuff to build. So. Oh, you're black flagged. Okay. How's Gibbard feeling? I assume that Gibbard is not feeling too well. Yep. Yoink. Mine. Go away. You guys are just gonna go here. Immediately. Oh, I guess there's also a very low amount of uh, <laughs> Imperial Gnome territories. I gotta say. I feel like it. If we just take one province and have them integrated. So. Now, of course, we're gonna piss off these guys now. Obviously, that's what that's what we're here for. We take everything outside around here. That definitely needs to be cleaned up. 
do these guys and then they care. I mean, Salasenak, of course, all of the elves care, I assume. Well, it seems like these guys up north don't care about this, like these guys. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, then we're gonna do all of this stuff. Let's get them out of the mountains. Obviously. Let's see if we can get them completely out of the mountains. That would be fantastic. I mean, that makes Obsidian Legion fucking massive, but... I like my dwarf's junkie. There we go. Wow. That's just wow. Okay. I did not expect that I can take this much, but I guess the province against the war score is getting better and better. Alright, we're also gonna dip ourselves into the forest here a little bit. Oh, this is shit. We could dip ourselves in here. Does that work? Yeah, okay, this, this looks a lot better. Alright. Here we go. There is also barely anything here. Obsidian Legion! I just realized that Ark Autism still exists. <laughs> Alright. My boys. It is time for you to clean up here. I mean, that's the thing, like... I don't care about these, squ these dwarven scrabbles that you have with, like, other dwarves or something like that. I care about only one thing. You guys, you follow the, the chat? Deal with the mountains for me. I don't quite understand mountains anyway. They are very complicated. Like, look at them. How could they work? They're not like... Oh, no, they're not really that overextended with that. Sure, then continue. Of course, gonna keep everything inside the thingy. Obviously. Uh, I'm currently also still thinking, should I give them this or should I create another vessel here? I think I should create another uh, mountain dweller race here just to kind of make this a little fit a little bit more. I just like the theme of it. Yeah, that is gonna turn into something else. Do we have anyone around there that we could s do? We'll see soon enough. So, look at that. This is a lot cleaner. Go for that. Wait, so we can't just... Oh, wait. Okay. You know what? We gobble up gobble that, and then we just create a new one. Right? <laughs> That's how it works. Uh, our godstone, we're clearly not gonna declare this war, obviously. Uh, we're gonna... It doesn't matter. No. I'm just gonna click this button. Cut everything. There's Gibbard that is under siege, but not for long. Raven March, people, Flame Mark knows. get rid of them. There we go. So, rest dealt with. Boys, time to get out. You guys come here. 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 Oh. You guys come back around here. <coughs> and this one dude up here comes over here. And then we still have... You know what? You're gonna stay inside there. For now. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put the... Uh, these guys to use an Argodstone. Actually, you know what? These guys are close enough to do that. Siege for me. Oh, there's another army. Oh no, you're, go you're going somewhere. Oh. You're not going somewhere. Cooperate with both Valkyrie Consonant and Kalakum Dwarf. I mean, we just need to throw them out, right? There's like no need for a major war. We don't. I mean, technically speaking, actually, we could do something with the dwarves here. That is actually true. We could just conquer all of that. Do you have any other friends? Gook Deer has got. Okay, you have more friends. It would cost more to take your territory, but I'm kind of alright with that. I'm very alright with this.
Okay. There are some of these guys who are once again not. I mean, these are all the new guys, of course. Need to teach them how we do it in our territory. So, let's also not forget that. All on a timer, all on a timer. So. Does I still only just want this place, right? Oh. That I can do. Oh yeah, sure. Should be nothing else here now. Oh no, this actually is coming around. Perpetual per 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 war for the sun. That is gonna start stacking up. Now we just need to convert, then we have virtual sun. Then this starts stacking up really good. That means we can take like ridiculous amounts of territory at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big fan. So we're gonna have to go this way, way then. For Verkai Consonat and all of the other guys. That is completely alright. I could actually position some more dudes over there. Just for that. Yeah, let's do that. So if we adventure into the mountains. I'm gonna clean what needs to be cleaned. Uh, you guys are done. Uh, did you go for the... I'm gonna, gonna immediately give this, this one to you. So, go away. Alright. Little, little, little bit of dirt dealt with there. That's very good. So, this is looking... I mean, like, this is now looking slowly but surely. I'm not gonna give a shit about uh, aggressive expansion. And like the coalition pro will also probably break apart as if they lose more and more members. Mithril Abundance. Oh. That's the, actually that's that I've not seen yet. That is a new one. Or at least from uh, for me. Or maybe I have seen it but I just ignored it kind of. That also probably is far more likely. So, first of all you guys do that. And then... Got 200. You guys also got 200. <coughs> so. I mean, we're just gonna wait for this reinforcement here. After all, this territory we don't want to keep ourselves. After all. So. So. Okay, th their rebels are not quite a challenge for me. <laughs> I mean, I could attack these guys directly to just more territory. That would also involve Gugdia and Magama, actually. These guys do have numbers, right? Like, they can punch back. So I think I might even just, like, do that and then cancel all of their alliances so I could attack them again. See a few more things. Handful more things. Uh, there we go. Better cannons. Next tech. And I think this is also the point where we just take tech every time. No matter what. Because a lot of cool stuff is coming up. Flying battery. So. The last idea group. What have we left? No. Innovativeness. That's gonna do it now. I might even just go for administrative ideas. I mean, there is technically only one thing that I really want. Oh no, wait! Well, of course we want to go for this one as well. I completely forgot, yeah. That's also why we're gonna focus on this again. I mean, now it kind of really matters. Still. Yeah. <coughs> that makes the most sense. Could have taken that a little bit sooner. But that doesn't matter, right? Probably a bunch of guys telling me about uh, this one and yelling at me that, oh, take this thing here. Well, that's. <laughs> These then shout. Oh, there's something else. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Perpetual War for the Sun. Because now we have Perpetual War for the Sun, too. 
which gives a lot of missionary. <laughs> okay. And for that for that one we need to have like everything here converted. Yeah. Okay, but then we would have another perpetual war for the sun, means more war score co uh, war score cost reduction. That should actually be fairly decent already, our provincial war score cost. Right? Or against other religions. That's straight power that's straight power. War score cost oh no, what is what's it called? War score cost was all origins. Huh? Is that not in the modifier thingy here? Seemingly not. Oh no, that is. Thirty five percent. Okay, yeah, we need more we need more of that. That's good stuff. <coughs> Alright, we have the tech, we have everything. It's time to go for the next war. We need to defeat Gobodat to make Gobodat live. That's a very simple concept. Alright, you guys take this dude and start moving in. I mean, Krak and War, we're, gonna, we're got just gonna send like one or two armies over to deal with them. They mean, they have numbers, but they're gonna like move their num numbers around like a lot now. It's always the best about this. We don't need to really face all of them, in a certain sense. So you guys also come around here. Just so that we have enough dudes around. <laughs> and the good thing is, these, all of these guys do not have like that much uh, thingy left. <coughs> See, we're also gonna do this one now. These guys are happy enough. Hello! I see you're fighting here, that's very brave. Look, look at our city legion, look at their numbers. What a bunch of lads. Just a bunch of guys being dudes, right? <laughs> So, oh, there we got some more dudes. Of course, this one is useless. Uh, these guys probably will deal with that when it comes around. The wo you guys are you have my gamma on your side. Okay. Well, successful. We have some rebels coming up. All very simple. Okay, you guys are dealing uh, dealing with that. You guys are just gonna come around here. While these guys have to siege that. Oh, for fuck's sake, of course. <laughs> okay, now there they realized. Okay. Okay, they don't, did not realize. They're idiots still. Very, very, very... A, lo a lot of stuff that they're doing. They're probably confusing themselves at this point. Spiring busted. So... We're not reinforcing that. They're not even reinforcing it themselves, so who cares. We're just gonna watch the Obsidian Leech and actually do, this, do their work. Look at that! They just get so much water, like, uh, numbers around. That's just cool. Uh, lovely, Court Mage. Boop. Boop, boop. <coughs> Have you throwing your weight around? That helps out. Now uh, we have some more... Also oh, some peasants. I just saw some who not force marching dudes. That's not alright. All these new guys. Where I don't know where they came from. Force march. Oh, they are now... That is now just... Awkward. <laughs> But luckily enough, we have nearly everything done here. So... Just need to wait for this one to finish up. You guys are just moving along. Well, not that impressively. Let's raise it like that. But you guys are finishing up the others. Okay, you're being idiots. I'll help out, no worries.
Okay, that's gonna be dealt with. I'm not sure why they are Raven Marcher there. That seems like an odd place for them to spawn, but what do I know, right? Are we just waiting for these floodgates to break? We want to swarm in, get all of them, eat them up. Are you guys actually... Wait, Rekoglan is not defending themselves. Or they're just doing... St okay, they're just doing a few different paths. Let's face it like that. They have their own idea how to help. <coughs> okay, we go about that this down. It means you guys can just basically move along. Uh... Fuck. No, just... Wait, do we need to... Okay, we also need to do this one first. Can you come here? There they all have a bunch of epic fights. Hold your cutters down. You still cannot move further? Okay, then you guys are just gonna stay there. These guys are leaving. Sure. Throw something else on it. Zoop. As always. I mean, it seems like Darwin's folly has not been, uh, re like, uh, uh, repaired. Right. Nine development. Oh, no, no, it has. It has. You have a furnace? Oh, no, this, this, okay, did, uh, it was not Kavuria who did it. Because Kavuria gets a, fur gets a coal here. Those mad lads. So, I mean, go without itself is very keen on not having problems. I mean, if Gukti and, like, if the rest of these guys potentially join in, they might attack me. But I'm not too sure about that. I mean, the, the thing is, like, waiting for these to end is basically impossible. That's not happening. Uh, yeah, sure. That's fantastic. <coughs> the Radiant Quarter Direct all. It does. Korean Separatists, Radic Separatists, or the Nice Separatists. Okay, these ones we deal with, these ones we deal here. And you guys here get a helping hand. There we go, now you guys can go crazy. We are just gonna send our dudes towards these forts. Everyone who has a leader. Okay, that's as, as how far as we can go. <coughs> Our vessels are basically doing a fantastic job there anyway. To get these fights, fights done. These guys should melt. But that is a wipe, I hope. Courthouse Town Hall. Yes. Oh, you guys are also showing up again. What a rare occasion. <coughs> so, vessels, swarm everything. Swarm everything, cover it, cover it in your vessel shoes. Yeah. Sometimes I'm not even sure what I'm really talking about myself. <laughs> There's also a little bit that you guys should not own. There's a paper in this, uh, in, uh, in this thingy here. Cool, cool. <laughs> Only the good stuff. Only still Sword of Elsa Mada? Yep. And we also see about the command. Oh, still 70, so 5 more years, so we can do this war easily. That's very good. No interruption there. Well, to be honest, there's not much left of these guys. They have 165, surprisingly enough. I'm not sure where you got that from. Like, nobody deals with them. Like, literally nobody. <laughs> That's what I hate about AI sometimes. I assume these guys definitely do join the coalition against me. Do they? Yep. 
<laughs> there, go home. Thanks. You guys can also join here. Oh, there we go. There we have a bunch of silly people. And this is basically just like... Th this is like a very in a dwarven way of uh, like kind of doing warfare. Just the forts doing their thing. Silverforge, Oceaneander. Wait, Silverforge? Huh? Okay. Sure. We still have plenty of stuff to core, still up ahead. But it's mainly just at this point for the governing capacity, even though... That's, um, that's, that's not doesn't do much. I mean, of course, it helps a little bit here, but it's nothing world-changing. Oh! Let's see if someone joins me us here. Seemingly not. Not sure what they're doing, I gotta admit. Not sure where they're going. There's nothing here where they should go to. Hey, who am I to question the AI again? <coughs> so, Lost Watch, and then all of these bad boys. <laughs> Got them forts. I mean, we have a d we should have a decent chunk of mil uh, uh, of uh, siege ability. Yeah, we have six uh, sixty four. But of course, the dwarven ho forts still hold. Radic. Now that should be it's that should be de doable by these guys. These guys are finishing up the mountain shark. That's also very lovely. We also made a connection here, didn't we? Yes, we did. Tuana is kind of a little bit in that. Not sure once again where you guys went. Like all of the vessels. And why, actually. That's also probably uh, probably a, a very important thing. It's just because of these rebels here. Okay, there we go. We stop these guys from joining and therefore beat up everybody. Always nice. Uh, you guys are gonna go for the next thingy here. Alright, seems like these guys have been beaten up severely. Actually, you are gonna come over here. Like I said, Vagragons not needs to be completely gobbled up. Or like completely sieged. Okay. You're gonna come over here. As soon as we have this one broken through, we're just gonna see if we can throw Clark and War out of this. I still have no idea where their armies are. I'm f I assume that they're just sitting around not doing check shit, as always. It's a very uh, uh, AI way to fight. There we go. This one is down. Could actually... I could technically go here. Oh, leaders left. None of the important ones. Good. You, just gonna get a new one. I will go an army tradition. So still fairly high up there. Good, good. <laughs> I mean, this one should also fall very quickly, to be honest. Oh, we got someone over there. Lovely. We can also meet this jump for wait. Who? What? What? Let's take a quick look. You guys. What are your friends? True dagger. Okay. I don't assume that we can do all of the road, but we're gonna see what we can take. As always. Let's see if that is wise. Probably not. Probably not at all. These guys are probably also not fast enough to join. Yeah, that was dumb. Come back home. You guys, <laughs> run over here. But I guess with this we're also gonna end this episode here. 
So like always, like, subscribe, and shenanigans, and I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!